Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a quick look at my field day setup. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so I'm here at field day 2022 and just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse at exactly what I had going on. So let's get everybody flipped around here and take a look at what we've got. Okay, so we'll start here at the back of the RV and we've got two antenna masts. One of them is on a flagpole holder that's mounted to the rear ladder and the other one's just kind of propped up with the ladder and held in place with the little orange strap that you see right there. And what we've got going on uh, on the right-hand side is my in-fed half-wave antenna. And then I'm using the uh, a roll-up J-pole for the two-meter setup. Let's see if I can tilt up here and give you guys a little bit of an idea of what this looks like. So not sure if you'll be able to see that in the video or not, but the uh, antenna goes up roughly, the HF antenna goes up roughly 30 feet, 31 feet and then goes over and ties off to the trees over here. That other antenna mask has the roll-up J-pole on it, and it's up probably about 25, 26 feet is all. Let's go ahead and walk around. We'll have to walk past the generator. I apologize for the noise, but I do have the generator running on propane up here in the front. Let's go ahead and walk inside where it's a little bit quieter. All right, coming inside, a little messy. I apologize. It is field day, though, and uh, it gets a little hectic around here. There's a look uh, at the important stuff in the morning, and that's the uh, coffee setup. All right, let's turn around, and this was the operating position. Well, I actually had a couple of different operating positions. So let's kind of zoom in here and show you what we've got going on. This is the APRS Digipeter that I set up when I first got to field day site. Right up here on the very top, uh, that's plugged into a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is fed into the TV. The TV here is a uh, full 12 volt TV, so I can actually run this uh, straight from the batteries without any problem. So far uh, for fill day, I have generated 50 amp hours of energy with those new uh, panel, with the new panel and the original panel that I have on the RV. Now let's spin around here and let's take a look at everything going on here. A brief side note here, I had originally intended to use a new external HDMI monitor for my primary Raspberry Pi setup. However, we had a group of kids coming in that we wanted to give some demos of, so I decided to hook up the APRS Digipeter to the television. Because I'd only brought one HDMI cable with me, that prevented me from using the monitor, so I just went ahead and grabbed the MacBook and used it as my primary workstation. So I had the MacBook that I was using. It is tied into the Raspberry Pi that is sitting right back there. I've got a Dakota Lithium 10 amp hour battery uh, there on the table right now being utilized and then of course the 857 now this little HT that you're seeing over here that's the Yezu FT65R connected up to a uh, Mobilink TNC3 and that's what's uh, connected back up to that Raspberry Pi that's above the TV uh, so then that antenna feeds under the table and then out the back of the RV and last but not least We've got a spare battery box sitting over here uh, that actually needs to be charged after uh, being uh, used all night. So we'll get that out as soon as uh, the sun comes up a little bit better. We'll get that out and get that charging. So there you have it, guys. There's a quick look at my setup for Field Day 2022. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.